And here we have question number three from May, June 2016, paper four, variant three. And we have here a graph of the function y equals f of x. Okay, the whole page is in with this big graph. Okay, y equals f of x. And you can see if I zoom out, and we can see what type of graph it is. Let me zoom out a bit. Yeah, you can see that it is um, a cubic graph of this shape. We don't really need to know that for this question, but it's a cubic type of graph. And um, they didn't give us the equation of the graph. They told us it's between minus 3.5 and 3.5. That's the part that's been drawn. And on the next page, we will have some questions from which we need to answer using this graph. Okay. Let me zoom back out again. All right, so a bit more. Okay, so now we go to the next page. It says using your graph, you've got to find, well, we've got to find f minus 2. It doesn't say using your graph, but as they didn't give us any equation, we've got no choice but to use the graph. It's the only way you can answer this question. Okay? It says find f minus 2. Okay, so question A, part 1, I'll write it here so we can see what's going on. Find f minus 2. Okay, now, what's been drawn is y equals f of x. Okay, and as we can see, the minus 2 here has taken the place of this x. So to solve this equation or to, to find the value of f minus 2 graphically, you've got to draw the line x equals minus 2, seeing as minus 2 has replaced the x in our function. Okay, what's drawn is f e y equals f of x. So minus 2 replaced x, so we draw the line x equals minus 2. So to draw the line x equals minus 2, you need to draw a vertical line passing through 2 on the x-axis. So I'm going to draw it. Okay, I don't need to draw it any further than doing this because it's the graph only passes through this part here. So this is the line x equals sorry, minus 2. Minus 2 is over here. And we'll draw the line x equals minus 2. x equals minus 2 is this line that passes through the graph only this place. Okay, I would normally draw it, draw it all the way along but I don't really have the space. So that's the line x equals minus 2. Now, when x equals minus 2, the value of the function f is going to be given by that value there, which is 10. So the value of f minus 2 is equal to 10. Okay? So we go back to, let's go back to here, f minus 2 is equal to 10. Then it says solve the equation fx equals minus 2. And you see there's answer space for three answers. Okay, the three values that they want us to find for x. So fx equals 2. So let's see how to solve this. They're asking us to solve. Part B is saying solve. The equation fx equals 2. Now, if we think about it, what's drawn is y equals f of x. And if you think the 2 has taken the place of the y. Okay, the 2 has taken the place of the y. So we've got to draw the line y equals 2 and see where it hits the curve and write down the x value. So y equals 2 is a horizontal line passing through 2 okay, on the y-axis. That's the line y equals 2. And we've got to see the places. Now there's three spaces where it hits. This is one of them. This is another one. And this is the third one. Okay, so we've got to write down these three values. Now this is uh, number one. Looks like each one is 0 0.1, right? So that's 1 1.9, 1 1.8, 1 1.7. So you can say that's 1.7. And here we got minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.2, minus 0 0.3. So minus 0 0.35. And we got minus we've got minus 3.1, 3.2, minus 3.3. Okay, so we have minus 3.3, minus 3.3, uh, minus 0 
and the other one was one down here, the other one was 1.7. Okay, so those are the solutions to that equation. And of course, here we had no choice but to use a graph. So this is two tangents, each with gradient zero, can be drawn to the graph of y equals f of x, write down the equation of each tangent. Now, if the gradient of the tangent is zero, that means it's a horizontal line. Horizontal lines have zero gradients. Okay, so we've got to draw some horizontal lines there, okay, which touch the curve as a tangent. So if, you, if I'm going to draw a horizontal line here, I can see that it will be the tangent to the curve at that point there, okay, where the curve turns. So the gradient of a curve is zero at the points where it turns. So that's one of the, one of the places where the gradient is zero. And that's just like y equals, you can say 10.5, 10.1, or 10.05. You can even say it's just over 10. So you can say y equals, y equals 10.05. So that's, oh, that's 10.1, sorry. 10.1, because each of these is 0 0.2. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, yes. So it's 10.2. So that will be 10.1 then. It's halfway. So y equals 10.1 would be one of those. Okay, and then the other one is going to be down here, where the other place where it turns is going to be down here where the gradient is zero. Let's bring this line down. Think about there, down here. Oops. The other one is down here, and that's going to be minus 2.2, .2. the y equals minus 2.2. .2. So those are the two lines, okay, where the gradient is zero and it's a tangent to the curve. y equals minus 2.2, .2 and y is equal to 10.1. Okay, so y equals minus 2.2, .2 and y is equal to 10.1. Okay, now... Part B, um, I will continue in the next video, so I won't get too long.